So Richard's still in Cannes and I'm here with Joseph Chong. Uh, came here from the States, I guess. How are you? Uh, good, how about yourself? Yeah, it's good, it's good. Do you, do you like Cannes? You know, I really like the place. The weather's really nice, it's a beautiful city, but uh, everything's very expensive. That's yeah. the only issue I have with it. Yeah, all right. Um, where do you stay here? Uh, right now, I'm staying at a hotel across the street, Hotel mm -hmm. Grey de Albion, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. So, um, how many times have you come to Europe to play? When was the first time? I think the first time I came to Europe to play poker was two years ago. Mm -hmm. I only came for the EPT London two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, last year I came for four months and played really? a lot of tournaments. Did you play more or less? Uh, which, uh, like the spring and the, the fall, did you? Uh, no, just the fall. I think I came in August for EPT Barcelona. Right. And stayed all the way through till November for Masters wow. Plastic in Amsterdam. Did you plan to or did you just go and see how long you were staying? Yeah, you know, I had no plan. They just right, came over right. and just, you know, we're like, let's just keep playing tournaments. And they yeah. were like, every other week there's a tournament, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you did quite well, right? Last year? Uh, I mean, I did okay. I final table bubbled two tournaments, basically. Wow. Mm -hmm. But no final table. Well, tables. that gives some, some money back. Yeah, right? exactly. A little rebate. So would you look back on it and say it was a, what do you call it, plus affair going Such to Europe? A successful trip, I guess. Uh, you know, in a way, yeah. I got to travel, see a lot of places I haven't seen before. Yeah. They didn't lose too much money. So yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah, that's yeah. a win, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, um, I know last year and this year, um, you've done well in the main event, right? Was it three, uh, two years ago as well? Uh, yeah. Three years now in a row. Yeah, it's three years in a row. Um, what were the results? Uh, 2010, I got third place. Yeah. Last year, I got 114th place. Yeah. And this year, I got, I think, 116th place. All right, all right. I mean, uh, that's quite a record. I mean, um, have you have you analyzed it and, and, and looked at how come you make, make those results in that specific uh, tournament? <laughs> not really. I don't really watch TV poker. They don't no. show me much anyway, so no, no, no. there's not much to analyze. Hey, well, I mean, is there something different with that tournament compared to others that may make you make it uh, better for you? You know. I think maybe just my TV exposure. Yeah. Um, makes people really think I bluff yeah. a lot. Okay. So I can get a lot more value from hands than most mm. other people can. Yeah. So I can get a lot more chips easier. Would you say it's a bigger um, difference, like wide range among the players? from not so good and up to good in that sort of specific There's tournament. a very wide range, yes. That's what I mean. So <laughs> people brand new to poker, people yeah. that are, you know, Phil Ivey, everyone yeah. plays it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that's more or less the key to find out the soft spots, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it makes it a great tournament. Yeah, is it your favorite tournament? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think yeah. it's everyone's favorite tournament. Of course. Did you play this one last year? This tournament? Yeah. Uh, I did play last year. Mm. I think I made day two. Yeah. I think Vanessa Russo busted me. Yeah. Sucked out on me, actually. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. I yeah. still had a good time here. All right, all right. So what do you do outside poker? Do you, do you have time for anything else? You know, these days, last couple of years, like, I really haven't had time to do anything than poker. I mean, I've had plenty of time, but uh, I just haven't done anything than poker. I just oh. traveled and played a lot of poker, stayed at home, played online poker. Mm. This year, I've been taking it a little easier. But that just means I stay at home and do nothing now. <laughs> yeah, is that right? Yeah. So you, I mean, so so when you're not playing live poker, you're you're home grinding more or less most of the time. Grinding, home, doing Don't... nothing, watching TV. Uh, starting to go to the gym a little bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Finally, okay. it's about Following time. Following the trend, exactly. poker players. Yeah, everyone's getting so healthy. So, yeah, yeah. It's scary. Uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> don't you get? I mean, you've been running well. You have to say. I mean, for how long? When, when did you sort of uh, break through? When did I break through? I'd say about 2009. Yeah. I started playing at the end of 2007. 2009 is when I kind of broke through online. Uh, I won a lot of high stakes tournaments online. Started playing all the high stakes tournaments everywhere. Yeah. And that gave me the bankroll and confidence to yeah. go to the World Series in 2010. Mm. And that turned out really well. So, yeah. yeah, I would say I've been running really good in poker. Yeah, I mean, you had a really, uh, uh, quite a, a lot of really good caches, especially two years ago. I yes. Mean, uh, uh, would you say you made more money live than online? Just that one score, I would say yes, by far. So that one made the difference, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Oh, you never know. I don't know how much you, I mean, you've been winning and so on online, but... Yeah. Um, no, yeah. definitely. How, did you play a lot? Did you grind it through the W Coop? This year? Yeah. Yeah, the past three weeks, I just, every day, I would wake up at 8 a.m., sit on my computer till 10 p.m. every single day for three weeks. <laughs> so it's really good to be out here, not playing on the computer anymore. Yeah, is it a secret, your, your name online, or is, are you... Oh, everyone knows my name online. Yeah. It's uh, Sublime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, 
Uh, how, did, how did it go for you on, uh, on the W Coop? You know, I started off terribly. I probably lost quick 40k. Wow. Um, but at the end, I made some money back. I think I ended up maybe up like 10k at the end. Yeah. Luckily, a good friend of mine won the high roller. And uh, I had a good, you know, I had a piece of him. So. All right, all right. So thank, thanks to him, I profited. Who was that? Uh, his name is Darren Elias. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's right. Very that's good right. player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so is that like part of the fun, having friends playing and having shares here and there? You think that's important to make yeah, it more fun? Yeah, it's interesting. It's part of the fun because we get to share in the victories. Yeah. But, you know, you're playing against each other at the same time, so it's also a competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that, uh, the, the, does that interfere sometimes if you, I mean, that's always a, a tricky issue if you go in the same tournament, for example, and you play. Yeah, but none of us ever... You know, we the money doesn't really affect our play. Yeah. So luckily, that doesn't really change how we play anything. Mm. How did you sort out the the issue that you couldn't play in the states? I actually moved out of the states. I currently reside in Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. Was that um, no, no? That was no issue for you. That that was no discussion. You just had to had to go, right? You know, at the time when it happened, Black Friday happened. I really didn't care about playing online. I've been grinding so long online that I was kind of tired of it. But all my friends still played, and they all started moving out of the country. So, you know, I just went with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, th that's the part that you, you shouldn't forget. I mean, staying at home, not playing online, but also, <laughs> what are you going to do? Your yeah, friends and my friends are all it's, gone. It's a, it's a yeah. big social bit, too. I exactly. mean, talking and how's it going with the tournament. It's good practice, too. It's really, you know, it's really important to play a lot of poker on your downtime for yeah. live, live tournaments. Well, what, what are the... Um, I mean, do you, do you try to say uh, stick to the uh, no limit hold them bit, mostly? Um... For the most part, yes. I've been dabbling in a lot of pot limit Oman lately, PLO. The mixed games? Not, you know, I've been practicing mixed, mixed games, but I'd say PLO I'm getting better at, PLO 8, or yeah. 08 in general. Other games, like stud games, I'm still terrible at. Uh -huh. yeah, you still I'm, play I'm them the and fish. try them? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get better. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah I mean, point. playing only one form of poker kind of gets boring after a while, so yeah. Yeah, I'm trying yeah, to branch out. Do you, do you teach people to play? I do not actually. No. I don't think I'd be a very good teacher, so. Why? I don't really know how to explain my thought processes, okay. you know. I just yeah, kind of yeah. ba play based on how I feel, so mm. it's kind of hard to teach that. So let's say uh, one of your friends would describe your strengths. Uh, because maybe it's hard to, for you to say yourself, you know? It's hard, it sounds strength. bragging. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know actually. Let's think. It's hard to precise. Put them down in words, maybe. Yeah, I. I guess maybe I have a pretty good feel for ranging people. Mm. Yeah. So I have. I get too far. Yeah, I think I have a pretty good idea what people have most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that's probably my strength. I have a lot of weaknesses, though, unfortunately. Do you? <laughs> All right. You shouldn't tell those. No, uh, that's, that's a secret. <laughs> of course. And after after Can, where are you going? I'm off to San Remo actually yeah. for the EPT next week. And then you haven't got any more plans? You know my. The plans might change, but right now I'm going to go back home, uh, relax for a while, and then I'm going to go to APPT Macau in November. Okay, very nice, yeah. very nice. All right, it was nice meeting you. Good you luck too. to you. Thank and, you. And uh, we'll meet again. Thank you, appreciate it.